actually have a very snowy sled dog today. Look at poor Chopper. I don't know what brought this on, but he suddenly has the illness where he's got like the icy fur. I think it's called like glacial fur, or tundra fur, where he's got the icy fur, he's dripping wet, and he's also got the little nose. We're gonna need to go to the vet and we don't have like any money, oh my gosh. All right, well, hello everyone, and welcome back to literally snowy sled dogs, our poor boy Chopper. I think we have a wellness treat, so we'll try feeding him one of the wellness treats and see if that is good enough. Uh, Ashley is almost done making some fruit salad that she was whipping up for breakfast, but we need to like take care of our puppy. Is he gonna try to like dive in to the hot springs here? Chomps, we're coming, buddy. Ashley, now is not the time to go ahead and eat your fruit salad. We have to take care of your puppy. Oh my gosh, and the house is actually a wreck. Well, thank goodness we actually hired a maid who will be coming over. Let's put the fruit salad away so Ashley can focus on this. No, do not cook anything. We're gonna run outside. I think we actually have, yes, a wellness treat. Okay, we're gonna come over and we're gonna feed Chomper a wellness treat and hopefully, what's wrong, treat pet. Um, Let's see, give vet treat, there we go. And let's see if that will actually cure him or not. Ashley put away that cereal. Oh, I bet Ayaka has so much delicious sugary cereal in the house. No, come on, put that down. Put that down right now and go treat your dog. Where is he? Oh, he's off to go try to play with his, his toys, but we need to go ahead and feed him. This is really important. We can't have an actually snowy sled dog like this. This is, this is not the plan. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so we'll try to go ahead and get him treated. But welcome everyone, welcome. So today we are actually going to be hopefully working on helping out our girl Ashley with some very special events that we have happening here in the beautiful world of Mount Komaribi. Oh, it looks like, well, hello random person. Uh, but in the beautiful world of Mount Komaribi, and we are waking up the day after having gone to our flower festival. And we actually did plant some flowers and some herbs from the seeds that we brought back from having gone to the festival. There's some madnip. Unfortunately, it's the only one of the catnip seeds that we got from the really cool flower festival that actually had uh, the ability to grow in summer. Uh, so we don't really want to grow madnip because you can make your cats enraged with pure anger when you feed it to them but there you have it and then we also have a daisy bush we've also got some basil because that was the only other thing we could find that would grow in summer we put some ivy that will grow up the side of the house over here we got rid of the mushrooms and we actually have replaced it with a, another plant that apparently doesn't want to give up the ghost on what its name is. So it's going to be a mystery like seed in the soil for a minute. And this is where we planted the rose that we actually got from Kailano when he gave us a rose at the flower festival. And I think when Ashley sees it blooming, she's going to start thinking some unusual thoughts. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. It is also the uh, lottery day and we also have the puppies growing up today. And I think they're actually stuck on growing up so we're probably going to go buy some age up treats at the vets if we need to leave and go on an emergency vet trip early in the morning and we're really thinking about trying to enter the lottery ashley loves the lottery tradition there's a huge lottery happening and the jackpot is too tempting to miss out on you can't win if you don't play the drawing occurs tomorrow morning so make sure you buy your ticket today purchase a lottery ticket via the computer or phone limit one ticket per sim and i think ashley feel would really be feeling like getting a attempt at winning the lottery since we have no money Laura. but first things first will this wellness treat cure him <gasps> it cured him yay we don't have to worry oh thank goodness oh we made a teeny bit of money i think um and now we need to get focused today and be funny with five different sims to work on our clickbait writer or social media career basically ashley used to hear pet chomper we need to we need to be like oh chomps you're feeling better like, let's confide our insecurities to Chomps about, like, we don't have any money. Oh, let's feel the love! Give us those wonderful aspiration points. And then let's go ahead. Let's play with Chomps for a minute. And maybe praise him. I think we need to 
train out misbehaviors, actually. But we'll worry about that later. But all right, so the wellness treat worked. I was really worried about having an actually snowy sled dog for a minute there, but I guess I didn't need to be worried. But all right, so today the goal is actually to help Ashley, who's still feeling super embarrassed from not having successfully climbed the mountain. Today, I wanted to get her out and about and actually working on some of her climbing skill. That was my big goal. However, I realized that we still yes, no. have Ashley with Pimba. this glitched climbing gear on. Oh, yeah. And because she needs to be able to have better climbing gear to get her rock climbing skill up higher, today we're going to try to get her to the point where she and Yaka can make enough money that we can actually have her come over and purchase some climbing gear. This absolutely amazing set of items is from Ravashin from um, Patreon. She makes amazing custom content that I really adore. And she made it so you could just put these like decorative items out and then you can go ahead and purchase the climbing gear like from here instead of going to a computer, which is just so immersive and so much fun. And then we also, oh look, we have the picture. We have the picture of Ashley at the flower festival. We need a better camera. Oh my gosh. And I think I, that's what Ayaka is kind of thinking about. She's like, oh, we really have to get some better gear if we're going to make the perfect perfect videos to make everyone excited about the snowy sled dogs and i want to grow up those pups so we might need to go to the vet's office anyway to grow up those puppies oh and speaking of the flower festival we went to let's actually clean up really quickly and put out the bouquet of flowers that we got oh i can't put it on this table why not Okay, here, maybe, all right, we'll, we'll mess around with that and try to put it on the table. But we have the bouquet of flowers that we actually created. Um, I wanna change the vase maybe so it matches the house standard. All right, we'll work with that uh, in a minute. And then we also have this really cool Luna moth. So we actually got a Luna moth given to us as a gift from Kailano. And I need to find a good home for this Luna moth. Maybe in the the bedroom we really all oh, over here over here on on this there we go yay now we have a luna moth as a pet that kailano gave us that's so exciting we've got so many cool items all right let's clean this out too clean out ashley's inventory while we're at it but yeah so i think today big goal earn enough money we can hopefully get our climbing gear and then also grow up the puppies and possibly go talk to the vet while we're there because the vet will probably know somebody perfect to have the puppies be adopted by. Uh, and let's come in for now and eat some of our breakfast and maybe spend a little bit of time. Oh, and Ayaka is off to go ahead and maybe talk with the kittens. And Ayaka, electric, the freelance artist, can a digital painting make you cry? Right now, no one knows. So I'm going to have to figure out how to do the gigs select a gig so, hmm oh with the digital artist sketch pad where's the sketch pad huh all right so i'm gonna have to like figure out how we can do the gigs and do freelance stuff with ayaka in a little bit so she can earn some money on the side but she also is going to have a chance to come up and start working on oh maybe all oh, if we had the parts we needed, maybe we could start doing some upgrades. That would be fantastic if we do could do like an auto updater and all of these other things. Ayaka's gonna study the trends and she's going to work on trying to like buy the extra components to so that we can start making some really good videos and basically becoming more famous and getting more money. So we've got a lot going on. I have missed the snowy sled dog so much. Today we definitely need to grow those puppies up for sure. All right, Ayaka, where are you going? Oh, she's talking to the kitten. Everyone's just, Ayaka, why are you? Oh, she's eating her fruit salad with chopsticks. Oh, hey, and it looks like we just got, uh, so the first thing that happens is we get the girls sitting down having a bit of a like breakfast in the smelly house together. And I think that Ayaka actually found this opportunity. The Fishing Sport Association is looking for a celebrity partner to help their No Fish Left Behind campaign that introduces youth to the wholesome sport of fishing. Complete one of the following options in the next 24 hours to fulfill this contract. Using the video station to upload any video that you've captured whatsoever or go to the local fishing hole and upload a fishing, a fishing video. Well, I know what we need to do. <laughs> Let's have Ayaka go ahead and maybe... Oh, we've got some mail we need to collect. 
Okay, that was really cute. I think Ayaka's feeling excited about the idea of like being able to do some special video edits and whatnot. All right, you clean that up, Ayaka. And then Ashley, are you gonna eat? She's also eating her fruit salad with chopsticks. That's really cute. And then we might have Ashley go ahead and get a chance to maybe go record that to try to get that money. Cause that would be a good opportunity. Here, we'll clean this up. And I do, where did the puppies go? Cause I've noticed the puppies, oh, we've got so much money now. Yes, from the royalty reports. Heck, that's fantastic. Making snow pals is actually doing really good. Um, and the puppies are just running around having fun. Oh, and little Pikachu needs some attention. Oh, we've got a lot going on. I don't need to give myself more for a little bit. But all right, Ashley, that actually helps Ashley out because now that the royalties have come in, we can purchase some climbing gear with her in just a second. And she does want to make some pet food. Hmm. So let's see if we can buy the vet treats that we need online. And then now that she's got a little bit of money that we sort of have under our, our belt, I could totally see her wanting to go ahead and maybe spending it on that lottery ticket. Lifestyle coach order. Medicine. But that's for people. Yay! Okay, we finally have some climbing gear. Yes, now can we please equip and like take off the climbing gear? That's going to be our next goal. So this climbing gear is really important. The rocks and uh, the these gloves and shoes give any climber an edge when scaling the heights, especially in bad weather. And they're in great condition right now. So I'm hoping if we like put it on and take it off. Yes, we finally have. We finally, finally have taken off the shoes and the gloves, so she is no longer glitched. And now we can actually go ahead and use these to help us climb. Oh, okay. She's going to be hyped about that for sure. All right, Ash. Let's go ahead and I'm going to search really quickly because I want to age up these puppies really badly. Oh, rodent treats, anti-aging and IQ limiter. No, I want my rodents to be happy and adventure into space if they want. Um, there's explorer supplies, upgrade parts, earbud dyes, purchase. You feel like you should be able just to like buy the dog treats. Um, I don't think I have anything from Ravasheen that would just let me buy dog treats in the house, but let's double check. Nope, just the, like, treat vending machines. So I guess we need to go and buy... You know what? We, we should probably take Chomper to get, like, checked out at the vet anyway, because he was sick. And then while we're out, we will take Grapuchon, and we will go record a fishing video. And because Ayaka... Ayaka, hi, Ayaka. Okay, everyone's just hanging out in the bathroom. <laughs> and because Ayaka is here, we can actually go ahead and leave all of the other dogs with Ayaka. So, yay! All right, Ayaka, I guess you could go ahead and maybe, like, be friendly to the maid or something. All right, let's go get these treats. We'll go ahead and head over to, well, let's visit the vet. And it's just going to be us and Chomper. Ayaka's going to take care of everybody else. Because these puppies have been set to age up for like two or three days and they just haven't. So we're going to manually age them up and, and try to become friends with the vet. And I think he'll be able to help us find a good owner. A good set of owners for our puppers. And Chomps, let's go ahead and see how he's doing. Let's see. Let's let him lick our face and give him a hug. Because he, he's had a bit of a rough go of it. Ah, uh, step in hay. There you go, buddy. We haven't had any time to play with him, and that needs to happen more often. Let's become companions. Let's go ahead and praise him. He's a good boy. Can we simstagram him because he's cute? Oh, we should have simstagrammed him as sad as it sounds when he was not feeling well. That would have been really good. Oh, is this a fan? Just a random guy named Kenji coming on over while well, we're praising our dog. Hi, Kenji. We're good, thanks. We've got things to do. All right, so let's come in and uh, we don't really want to neuter Chomper at the moment and we don't really need to sign him up for too much of a checkup, but we are going to go ahead and buy some items. Oh, hey, Kailano's here. <laughs> what are you doing here, Kailano? That's really funny. 
We do want to make a new friend. Kailano is... Why is Kailano not listed as a friend? What? All right, let's do age up treat. We'll buy two of those and say it's like licensing and checkups for the pups. And then I also wanted to try the poop randomizer. So we're going to buy a few poop randomizers to feed to Chomper and to Iggy and try to get them to possibly lay gold bars. If you can get your, your pets to lay gold poop, then what you can do is you can actually sometimes get gold bars when they have the gold poop effect. And we're going to say that that's actually related to their snowy sled dog skills. So we'll say how, whatever money we earn from selling the poop, as weird as that sounds from our dogs, is related to taking them on a little local sled dog events. So we're going to buy a few poop random and then we won't have a lot of money left over but we want to we want to do our best and then let's come over and I can't believe maybe show off pet chomps all oh, his dogs here so that's what's going on how are we not friends with Kailano by now why are we just we're best friends yeah neither a friend nor a foe just in a relationship no, no, no. We're gonna go. We're gonna go say hello to Kailano. That's just unacceptable that we we haven't gotten to the point of being like good friends with him yet. All right. Reveal deep secret. Let's high five Snowbro. And then Chomps, what's wrong? And then we'll go ahead and show off Chomper. Yeah. Now we're feeling super energized from doing that. I guess Chomps doesn't want to be shown off at the moment. Let's hip bump because I think Ashley's just excited to see him. And then maybe share some photos. That could work out. Oh, Kai is actually headed to visit with the vet. Okay. And this woman's the vet today. Oh, she looks really cool. She looks totally different than the other vet that we know. I can't remember what his name is or where he's at. I wish you had a little like note section that you could work on. Kailana, we should be friends. Let's share some close knit tips. And then let's brighten his day. And then let's go ahead and let's come over and give give our boy Chomps a poop randomizer. Because <laughs> maybe that'll help us out. Oh no, this is actually, this is one of Kailano's dogs right here. And he is not feeling well. Oh, that's really sad. Darthros. Okay, thankfully the vet is going to take good care of him. So we'll just have to leave that situation be for now. Yeah, there we go. The vet's off to take care of him. That's why Kailano's here. One of his dogs is not well. Well, I really, I'm sorry about that, Kailano. That really sucks. Um, okay. So we've got the age up treats. We've got the poop randomizers. We said hi to Kai, who probably needs to go because he needs to take care of his dog. We're next to the fishing spot, so we could record that. But I think today is going to be all about the puppies, and I want to grow up some of the puppies. And let's see if I can find any of the vets. No... Okay, I think we've got what, what we want slash need from this situation now. So we'll head back home. I though like let's give Kailano a hug. I would think that we we're friends, but maybe we keep sending like back and forth, back and forth signs to Kailano so things just get a little interesting. Um flatter, get to know, express admiration. Let's just do a hug to say bye. Actually, it being Ashley and her being pumped up, she wouldn't do a hug as much as she would do things about interest. One more hip bump, for good measure. So close yet so far, feeling guilty from being around someone. Oh, Ashley's still feeling guilty about the whole thing of like not helping out getting to the top of the mountain. Wow, I wonder if Kailano and Ashley are considered not exactly friends because they still have that like little guilty thing going on. Interesting. All right, well, let's go ahead and head back home then. We'll take care of the puppers. And come on, Chomps. And Chomps is feeling better. And we'll try to work on maybe becoming friends with the vets. I always, I haven't played Sims 4 for a little bit like this. So I always have to kind of feel things out a little bit. 
and remember how tricky it can be to get my characters to do everything we want them to. For now, let's actually have the puppies. Like, we already got the, the climbing gear, which is great. I think that Ayaka is going to, like, kick Ashley down to record that fishing video, heck or high water. But for now, I think today we'll make about the puppies. And let's also check the mail. Maybe somebody has sent Ashley, like, something fun. Ashley's collected everything from the mailbox. What is an- what an unauthenticated knife? An unauthenticated Osmosian skull? Oh, these are the things that, um... Actually, these are the things that somebody for some reason wanted a Yaka to analyze. And I have no idea why someone thought a Yaka might have the skills for that. Maybe her dad is really into archaeology and people thought a Yaka would be into it too. And it doesn't look like we have been sent anything as like a gift yet from the people that follow Ashley. However, here is a whole bunch of golden poop or just like small pet poops we can sell. So what on earth? $800 worth? Oh, it's all these golden poops. <laughs> See, even if the golden poops aren't gold, we actually have $800. So we got like close to $900 just from the dog's past poops. So actually that wasn't, that wasn't badly done. Let's hand out some like treats. All right. We'll go ahead and give a treat to Iggy. So that hopefully she'll have some golden poops. Oh, Chomper, um, I guess, thanks, dude. <laughs> then we'll clean up after Chomps and we'll go ahead and feel the love from him. And then let's give him a poop randomizer treat. All right, hang in there, Iggy. I know you might feel a little weird, but hopefully you're going to have... Oh, maybe she's jealous because we're, <laughs> we're giving Chomper some attention. All right, let's go ahead and comfort Igloo. And then where's the other puppy? He is inside, and I want him to actually come downstairs and outside. So let's have the other pup come out. And then we'll age these two little guys up. And I think today we'll just keep today's adventure sort of short and sweet and simple on focusing on getting the dogs in line. Ashley's feeling really good. I think she was feeling really, like, sad about the whole money situation until she realized, like, whoa, royalties are awesome. The work I already did on the past videos is really paying off. Oh, the mystery plant still being a mystery plant, too. All right. Let's come and maybe pet the puppy while we wait for its sibling. Get down here! What are you doing, little guy? Oh, Needle, Needle can't get down there because he's just a little guy. Oh, Needle, here. Okay, we're just going to teleport him down because somehow Needle got upstairs whilst we were busy. All right, here we go, you guys. We're going to grow up Blizzard and Needle because they are way past due for being able to age up. No, you stay down here, little buddy. Oh, he's so cute. And here we are. So Chomper and Iggy's very first litter of puppies together is finally having a chance to grow up, hopefully become big, beautiful dogs that will find a happy, loving home. How's this going to go? He's chasing his own little tail. We'll go ahead and feed this one too. Oh, he's so cute when he chases his little tail. All right, Chomper, Iggy. This is your first son, yay! Blizzard has now grown from puppy to adult dog. He can now swim, climb stairs, go for walks, and start learning tricks. If not neutered, he can mate with other dogs. Hooray for Blizzard. <gasps> he looks like Iggy! He looks actually like a beautiful mix between Iggy and Chomper! Look at you! I wonder if your brother is going to be identical. You look like you're going to be a bit of trouble, friend. Oh, there they go! This is more like it. No, no, stay outside, Ashley. Pay attention to the puppies. They're being really cute. And the kitten has even come out to see it. Kanako, are you supposed to grow up soon? <gasps> Kanako should have grown up too and still hasn't. I wonder why on earth that's not working. <laughs> and Iggy has rainbow poop! Yay! Oh, wow! 
And look at Eggie and Chopper's puppies. They turned out really beautifully, you guys. We'll have to see if we can convince Iggy and Chomper to go ahead and try to have more of them or not. That's adorable. And if Kanako is supposed to grow up, even though she's our little stray kitten, we'll have to get her a age-up treat as well. But all right, so we're going to actually find new homes for Blizzard and Needle pretty soon. But they will still be in the area, in the neighborhood. So hopefully we'll be able to hang out with them. Um, and we're going to have Ayaka really start pushing to try to help us manage are really what, 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 why is this glowing who knows but we'll have a yaka try to help us manage our growing snowy sled dog legacy and i'm really happy that we had the little puppies because now that they're adults you guys know what that means once they find a new home it's going to be time for new foster puppies huzzah all right we're making some progress getting back into the swing of things with our snowy sled dogs one step at a time but all right guys thank you so much for joining me if you guys could do please leave a like for our lovely snowy sled dogs and it seems that little kanako is actually supposed to grow up into a big cat pretty soon too and if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures do please consider subscribing but most importantly my friends stay curious and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye